Honorable professors, beloved family and dear friends of the class of 2018, it is such an honor to deliver this speech before you all today. Today, I would like to talk about my story of failure. Back in 1999, I graduated from high school in the country of Jordan with a dismal grade of C. Unfazed, I decided to go to the university majoring in the science of chemistry. As my father was paying my tuition, I took my education for granted. I hadn't finished a year when I realized that I was not going to make it. I flunked most of my classes and got expelled because of my poor academic performance. I returned home feeling despair and failure. My mom kept encouraging me to study maybe a vocational degree and find any job just to pay my bills. In 2002, when I was 21 years old, I immigrated to the United States. I was so passionate. I wanted to continue my studies and get a high pay job. I registered at Collin County College and started taking classes. Unfortunately, my father was diagnosed with colon cancer and before I could spend enough time with him, he passed away. That year was one of the hardest years in my life. I couldn't focus on my studies. When I looked at my transcript, all my dreams shattered again. I failed all my classes. At that time, I was 22 years old and I felt I was too old to start school again. I was losing my hope. My mom encouraged me to go back and start over. She took me to Richland College and I registered for classes. The first year passed. I was working two jobs and studying. The moment I checked my transcript, I couldn't believe it. After failing at least twice in school, my GPA was 4.00. I decided to continue and certainly I would graduate and earn my associate degree in graphic and web design in the year of 2005 with GPA of 3.87. This happiness didn't last too long. I was so eager to find a job in my field. I kept hunting for jobs and no luck. I stayed working in big corporations with minimum wages. I felt I wasn't good enough. I thought maybe I couldn't find a job because I wasn't American enough. I don't look very professional. I am overweight. Aesthetically, I wasn't the total package. After 10 years in 2015, at 34 years old, I came to the UTD curiously wanting to know if I could study what I really like to do, digital art. But I was very hesitant and didn't know I was going to be able to continue my education. My major obstacle was money. I couldn't afford to pay tuition and bills at the same time. I registered the fall semester of 2015 while saying to myself, I am not going to make it. The first and second semester passes and my GPA was 4.00. I was working full-time job and attending university part-time. Before I knew it, now it's April 2018, I am 37 years old and I did it. In my life, I learned success is not measured by age or grades, but it's measured by personal lessons through experiences. Dreaming is not enough. Working for your dream is not enough but living in details, experiencing every moment and step, and preserving after tasting failure is what makes life worthwhile. My mom used to say, the smart one is the one who laughs at the end. And I say, life is lived in details. Giving up and feeling depressed should not be the result of failure. Failure should be the motivation to find solutions to overcome your obstacles. I made it today and I do not consider it a total success because I still have many goals to attain. However, 
I consider it an achievement to celebrate and start to plan ahead for a brighter future. I stop now and ask myself, what have I learned from this experience? What were my achievements and failures? And if I was given the chance to do it again, how would I make it different? Moving forward, what next? What's my plan? Although life doesn't always turn out as we plan, at least I have this moment to look back on with pride in order to feel hope in the future and move forward. Finally, I wish everyone a prosperous life cherished by abundance, blessings, and love.